So let's get the introductions from Joe Antonacci in the ring. Boxing fans, Joe DeGuardia Star Boxing in association with Larry Flint's Hustler Club and Golden Empire Promotions presents eight rounds of action in the heavyweight division. Our judges for this bout, Steve Epstein, Matt Ruggiero, and Don Trella, our referee, Wayne Kelly. Introducing first in the blue corner, he comes to us tonight all the way from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. He weighed in at 223 and one half pounds. Black trunks, red trim. Professional record, 22 victories. 17 defeats, no draws with 11 knockouts. Please welcome Marcus McGee. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes to us tonight from Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York. He weighed in at 272 and one quarter pounds. Black trunks, gold trim. Professional record, 48 victories. Only five defeats, one draw with 42 knockouts. Please welcome the former two-time heavyweight champion of the world, Shannon, the Cannon Briggs. <laughs> Referee Wayne Kelly has our fighter's final instructions. All right, let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this fight, and the thing that jumps out at you right there, 272 pounds for Shannon Briggs. Yeah. Both guys are 38, so, you know, age doesn't seem to be a real factor here. The height is negligible, but 50 pounds on the scale in favor of Shannon Briggs, or maybe not in favor. Here are the rules here in New York State, the unified rules, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. Doctor or the referee can stop the fight, and neither fighter can be saved by the bell in any round. Scheduled for eight. As we see what Shannon Briggs has. He has not fought since June of 2007 when he lost the WBO heavyweight title bout to Sultan Ibrahimov. And that followed, you know, probably his, uh, I guess his best win is beating Foreman, but that there was some controversy about that. No controversy about his uh, knockout of Lahovic before that. And his, his previous fight came in the final seconds of a 12-round fight. Pretty sensational win for Shannon Briggs. And then after that, one more fight, and he, he was out of the game for two years. So. Shannon just straight up and down. Amazing. You know, his heyday was 15 years ago, and obviously you wonder why is he back? Well, because the heavyweight yeah. division just seems right for opportunity, and he's got the resume. Shannon Briggs, when he came out of the amateurs, was one of the most highly rated prospects in yeah. the heavyweight division. I would think it's fair to say, and I bet you Shannon would, would agree, that he never quite fulfilled the expectations that were there for him, even with the victory over Foreman. He turned pro in 1992. While he mentioned a big win over George Foreman, he fought Lennox Lewis and lost the heavyweight title in 1998. By the way, I'm reminded that in this very room nine years ago when I was here, he lost to an unknown heavyweight named Cedric Fields right in this very room. So you think there's bad karma? In the I don't know. Maybe okay. he's looking to wipe that out. Very little movement from Shannon Brake, conserving energy. And throwing hard oh. punches to the body. That right hurts McGee. He's in pain on his knees. Count is five. Six, Does not look like seven, he's enough no. to get up. He's not getting up. Nine. That's it. Ten. First round knockout for Shannon Briggs. I don't know if that tells us anything about the result well, of his career. It tells he's got us some power. It tells us that a 272 man, 272 pound heavyweight who hits another guy in the belly will hurt him. You're right. McGee giving away 50 pounds. And now Shannon Briggs checking out and McGee pointing to his ribs. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt. Breathing. It's tough to have the punch was for real. I mean, oh, yeah. you may not be happy with the result or the matchup, but you can't doubt, you know, that the, 
the effectiveness of the punch. For Shannon Briggs, it's certainly a happy return to the ring. It's happy what, birthday. Yeah. That's the result he wanted. Didn't have to expend a whole lot of energy. Nope. We'll take a look at it and hopefully we'll hear the live sound because I thought that was even more affecting, effective than the, the punch itself. Now you got you got to hear the way it sounds. But that is just a, a nice shot, what they call the floating ribs. Not a good place to get hit, not recommended. That hurts. Now does a world-class heavyweight shake that off? Probably. McGee at 38, <laughs> well-traveled journeyman right. fighter. Got hit in the short rib and said, what do I need this for? And took the count, and right now still on his knees. He hasn't That's a pain been able to make it. Head. Yeah, he hasn't been able to make it to the stool. Let my yeah. son in, let my son in, please. Let my son in. He's up now. Here you go, baby. Oh, he's still in a lot of pain as he leans on the ropes. There is Marcus McGee. Okay, let's hear it now. That sounded deep. Shannon's son in the ring. And let's go to Joe Antonacci for the announcement. Boxing fans, the time. Two minutes and one second of round number one. Your winner by knockout from Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York, Shannon. The Cannon Bridge. 38 years old tomorrow and resuming his boxing career. Former heavyweight champion Shannon Briggs with a first round knockout over Marcus McGee. We'll be right back on The Contender in a moment. Shot. Yeah, like Wally said. I hate that part. He always, I'm like, I'm like, that's 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 gonna work. Seven months. I said, that's that's gonna work. I'm moving around. Seven months. You're telling me. Yeah. What's up, man? I'm good, Daddy. How you, Daddy? I'm good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Long night's work, yeah? Uh, tell me about it. <laughs> I think that's my 30th first round knockout. Is that right? My 30th first round knockout. Sam. I think that's my 30th first round knockout. That's pretty good. I think so. Good job, baby. I just lost 80 pounds, Molly. I just lost 80 pounds, yeah. Wow. Yeah, thanks to this dude and this dude right here, man. Well, running a lot, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know what? Welcome back to Manhattan Center in the heart of New York City. This is the contender on Versus. And we open up, that is Marcus McGee, who may have suffered a fractured rib with that big right hand pounding to the midsection from Shannon Briggs that stopped him in the first round. And that's Marcus McGee gingerly leaving the ring. Let's go into the ring. Wally Matthews is with Shannon Briggs. Wally. 
Thank you, Sam. You know what? What you probably didn't see during the break was that as Marcus McGee was leaving, Shannon Briggs went over to give him a hug, and I thought the guy was going to jump out of his skin. Man, you hurt him already. I'm sorry, 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 man. I didn't mean to cause I was down, damage to the guy. Not, not after the fight after was over. Back, right. All right, you've been away for two years yeah, now. You told three, me. You, yeah, I, what brought you back? Uh, I, my friends, friends. Brett Cohen, Herman Casado, Ivalo. These guys, you know, told me, you're Shannon, you got it. You walked away too soon. You got so much talent. Do it. I was 334 pounds while he at home. Became a couch potato. I was eating donuts, eating ice cream. They got me off my couch, man. These are my boys. Well, so you're seriously back in boxing now. You think you're going to go after a title or something? Is that what your intention is? Two billion percent. I just lost 80 pounds. I was 234. I went down to 254. I put some weight back on because I didn't really feel too strong. I want to bring it down gradually, but I feel great. I got a great team, man. Uh, all my people back in Florida, Chris Lawrence, uh, my, my, my number one fan, Alex Cohen, my boy's son is at home. We got a great team. Uh, let's take a look at the knockout. Sure, you know, you saw it pretty well. You were standing right there, but play color commentator here. Okay, let me see. I, you know, I, I wanted to, like, kind of get my range. You know, me and Herman, oh, there you go. That's that thing. <laughs> That's that medicine. We call that the medicine. <laughs> That's the medicine. And when you land a punch like that, do you have a pretty good idea that uh, your man may be done for the night? Well, you know, I'm really a left hook puncher to the body. That's, oh, you know, while you know me since I was a kid, that was always my, my, my bread and butter punch. But, um, you know, I guess people got used to me. So Herman, for the last seven months, just been telling me, Shannon, you got to start doing that right hand around to the rib. And I was like, I hate that punch, but he really pushed it on me, you know? Shannon, how much of your comeback has to do with the fact, I, I don't know if you feel like you accomplished everything you should have accomplished the first time around. I mean, a lot of people thought that maybe you didn't live up to your potential. Do you feel that way? I'm an overachiever. I'm, I'm an asthmatic. I was born asthmatic. I weighed two and a half pounds at birth. I, I was never ex expected to uh, make it as boxing. This man right here, Andre Rosé, has known me since I was a baby. And I was always the guy who, you know, I had the talent, but I didn't have the, the stamina. And, and I came back, and regardless of what, I became heavyweight champion of the world twice with asthma and the first and only champion to do that. So I think that proves a lot. But, again, I don't feel like my my. my, my, my career has been fulfilled until I knock out a Klitschko in the All first right. round. Well, you made a successful first step back. Shannon Briggs, day before his 38th birthday. Happy birthday. You, back to Sam at ringside. Thank you, Wally. Congratulations to Shannon Briggs. Good to see him back. He's a good guy. Former champion of the world. And coming in for the first round knockout, 